Mm. Let me tell you, eh? if I want to marry you tomorrow, mm. and anybody stands in between me and you, I won't take it lightly. <laughs> I will not. Who in her right senses will marry a proper like you? Huh? Eh? When there are rich guys with fast cars who live in Lagos driving all around town. Oh, they have told you that I won't be rich, eh? <laughs> you think I will not be a rich man? <laughs> Let me tell you something, I do. Mm. You better make up your mind now that it's early. Or else, or else. you will join long queue of people waiting to see me. <laughs> or better still, you'll be writing letter of application to see my face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, boy. Mm, baby. Mm. Mm. Obo. Baby. On a more serious note, I know that woman your brother has married. He should be very careful. Hmm? The family has a bad reputation. <laughs> Ado, hmm? don't tell me you have joined the bandwagon of people who go around saying things about people they don't even know. Most of the time, they have not even seen the people they are talking about. I'm not condemning her. So what are you saying? I'm just saying your brother should be very careful. That's all. It's okay. You better bring yourself here now. Let me go and drop you before you speak out of tune. Nin, your mates use Mercedes Benz cars to drop their girlfriends. Uh -huh. And all you want me to do is to climb this bicycle. Not even a white horse. Eh? But this Alicrija. It's okay. You better climb it now. <laughs> or else, when I buy my Mercedes, I'll forget to drop you. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wait, let me climb it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it? Ado. Eh? Ado, you see this apple you have been eating every day? You see what he's doing to my bicycle? <laughs> Let's go! Before something from this bush comes out to swallow you. Ado, this is a serious matter. Let's go. Hey, let me try now. <laughs> Love, one thing, please. Love, well, one thing, please. It's a very heavy mother, I love for the one thing. Please. Love, one thing, please. Love, one thing, please. You can't have a chance to get a little bit of 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 a With that. Oh no, it's okay. It's a man's job. Thank you very much. What is a man's job? That there are no girls in this house does not make sweeping the compound a man's job. Let me help you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Obo? Yes. There's something I wanted to say to you. What is that? Since my marriage to Eliezer, you have been the only one who continually supports me. And I will never stop saying thank you. It's okay. <laughs> It's not as if anybody is against you. And moreover, if I was in your shoes, I know you'd support me too. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime. to ask if you're all right because I can see you're really looking good. And you are managing. Uh -uh. If managing is looking like this, I think I want to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Obuna, come and help me get these things out. Uh, good. 
And to what of uh, Udua Kanikina? They are all fine. Okay. They are perfect. And, and the are... people in Lagos? This is where the people who live in it kept it. Yeah. It's a very good place. You're welcome. And the wolves are terrible. I don't know very what the problem is. Let me have that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Ah. Oh, well, yeah. We didn't plan to stay more than one day. We left to Kenna with Uduak and she can be careless at times. Yeah. My main reason for coming is to pick you up. Eh? They are not going to stop. And what I'm trying to say is this. My business is expanding. And I need somebody to help me take care of things. Okay. And I can't think of any better person than my own brother. So I'm offering you an opportunity to join us in Lagos. Live for Lagos, who will live here? The whole place will look desolate and it will be overgrown by weeds. Who are you waiting the place for? You are a young man. Are you going to spend the rest of your life just rotting away in this village? It's not as if you're going to school. All you do is sleep, wake up, and while away the time. This is an opportunity for you to make something out of your life. Lee, uh, I understand. Huh? But I don't do anything about buying and selling. Where will I start from? Where did I start from? You learn while working. All I'm saying is take yourself out of this place. Oh, boy. What your brother is saying is the truth. You can't live the rest of your life in this village. Moreover, I can need an elder brother. A figure to look up to. Hmm? Think about it. Okay. Uh, I will. <laughs> All right, let's eat. I see this as an opportunity for me to make a good thing out of my life and our lives too. I didn't want to go at first, but when I talked about it, I knew I had to go. I'm not saying you should not go, but you've not told me exactly what you're going to do. My brother Elias has said I should come and manage one of his shops for him in Lagos. Can you manage it? I don't know. I've not done anything of that kind before. But I think I can learn on the job. At least I'll have an opportunity of making good money. And even growing too. Will you write to me? Of course. Why do you say so? I will always write to you. I will even visit you very often. If please don't cry. Come. I won't be far away from you. Are you still crying? Let me run along. My brother will be waiting for me. Come. Don't cry, okay? I'll always come around to see you. All right? Just take care of yourself. Okay? Bye-bye. My love has gone away And I'm all alone Alone in this whole wild world With no one to love and care for me My heart is beating fast My life feels so empty I need you, my love I need you right here with me Come back to me. Please come back to me. Please come back to me. 
in charge of the main shop and uh, as things improve we'll open up new outlets. But it's a big place though. Well God has been good to us that's why I need all the help I can get. Ngozi here will put you through and tell you about the running of the store. Ngozi. Sir. This is my junior brother Obonna. He's now the new manager of this shop. Whatever he needs to know show him and put him through. Okay? Yes sir. Okay. You're welcome sir. Thank you. Okay, I'll be on my way. I have some supplies to make in the main shop and I can't allow that any Yamaka girl to do it alone. Can you find your way back to the house when you finish? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'll be seeing you then. Okay, sir. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye-bye, sir. Okay. So, tell me, what and what do I need to know? into the kitchen and sees you washing plates. Eh? Um, Obo, are you comfortable? Yes. I mean, is there anything you need? I'm not actually okay. Are you sure? Yes. Good. You know how busy your brother is. So in case you need anything, you just let me know. Okay. Huh? okay. You've not even had your bath. I'll tell you, just for your... Yeah, hurry, hurry, you're late. Thank you. I just wanted to know how you're settling in. It's not been easy, but I'm beginning to find my foot. Good. I'm going to leave you in charge of both shops for a few days. I have to travel to the village. Day again? Um, just know that it's not feeling well. I need to go and see her. It's all right. I'll also leave you in charge of the house. I'll drop some money behind. Whatever you don't understand, ask Ngozi if she's very capable. Thank you. Welcome, my dear. Now, welcome. 
My Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. How was your journey? Oh, very fine. And welcome. Thank you. We heard Mama was sick, so we came to see her, but she's looking very healthy to me. I'm surprised. Hey, thanks to my daughter here, Adam Wai, and my sister and Kechi. And Kechi is around. That's my Kechi. Hey, come, let me go and find you, Kula. Okay. Hey, now you're welcome. Oh, you baby. <laughs> you're looking pretty. Thank you. Um, sister, what is this about uh, Ngechi? That crazy girl. She came back the other day with a white man and said that's the person she wants to marry now. A white man? White man. Ah, is she not going to come out of one marriage before she jumps into another? Uh, I think you better ask her that when you see her, not me. Ngechi <laughs> is a crazy girl. Anyway, let me attend to my husband. It's all right. Welcome, eh? Okay. How do you go? So, sister, <laughs> I don't see why you still quarrel with your husband. That man is a very nice man. <laughs> my dear sister, men are naturally wicked. You see, the annoying part of it is that it was not as if anybody caught me with any man. But maybe somebody only saw me coming out from the hotel premises with the man. And he didn't even bother to ask me what I went there to do. Ujumwa, it was only an innocent business lunch, nothing else. If I compare it to the number of times I caught him with different kinds of girls, wouldn't I have packed out long time ago? So sister, what do you intend to do? I don't know yet, to. I think I'll have to take a little time here to rest. Then maybe come over to Lagos and see what I can do to sustain myself. It's not a bad idea. But I have to talk to my husband first. Mm -hmm. Moreover, you have to tell us when exactly you're coming so that we can prepare for you. You know my brother-in-law stays with us now. His brother is living with you? Mm. Hey! Chuma, you have to be very careful, though. That is a warning signal. You know, I didn't want to tell you all this while. It was my husband's brother that reported me. Yes. Anyway, don't worry. I'll see things for myself when I come. Why do you behave like a stranger in this house? Eh? So if nobody comes to call you, you won't come to eat. I, I'm not hungry. You're sure? Yes, sir. I'm not. Uncle, when are good evening? You can, uh, how are you? Excuse me. Okay. Do you think we made the right decision in bringing him to Lagos? I wouldn't know. He's hardly been in Lagos for a month. Maybe I should have sent him back to school. At least it would have been nice for one of us to get a good education. Ellie, you want to spend all the money to send him to school for years and then he comes out and spends many more years of joblessness? I think he's better off like this. At least he's making a living for himself and he's learning how to make money for himself. You must be right. You know, I checked the books yesterday. You'll be surprised at how much sales the shop has recorded since he came. Thank God. I hope the sales continue to rise. I hope so too. Yes. Who is that? 
Hello. Yes, what can I do for you? Is my sister in? Your? My sister, I'll be able to do. Jenny from Kaduna. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, but you don't know my elder sister, Stella. I've never seen her before. Was she at your traditional marriage? No, um, I traveled out of the country. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Sister, <laughs> hello. welcome. Thank you. Please sit down. Obo, oh, help me take her back to the guest room. Okay. <laughs> welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Is he your husband's younger brother? Oh, yes, Obona. Oh. He's a fine boy. <laughs> yeah. So how about your husband? Uh, he's going to the office. He'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, sister can talk. She doesn't even know when one wants peace. <laughs> you should have at least told me she was coming. I didn't know she was coming. She didn't tell me. You know she doesn't have a new phone number. <laughs> How long is she staying? Uh, she only just arrived. Are you chasing her away? I am not. But you know it's an extra mouth to feed. My sister is not an extra mouth to feed. Unless you're saying you don't want her in your house. After all, your own brother is in the house too. My brother is working for his upkeep. Have you offered my sister a job and she has refused to do it? Don't tell me that, my friend. Am I supposed to offer your sister a job? over such trivialities. God has given us enough to take care of whoever comes our way. Let sister stay for as long as she wants to. She doesn't have any other place to go to. Moreover, this is the only comfortable home she knows. Please. I should be told before certain decisions are taken in this house. Yes, sir. Don't you think we should be doing something else rather than quarrel? Mm. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> I've only said that your husband is a sensible man. 
This is the best way to come. In that country, it is like this. Yeah. That way, you always have enough. In the house. Uh, whether you have money on you or not. No, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Obo, okay. what is left out there? A bag of beans. Ah, ah. okay. Bring it in there. This boy will make a very good husband for any lucky girl. Sure. <laughs> He's just like his brother. Oh, really? Obo, you should lock your door when you are changing. There are women in this house. Do you want Odrak to see you naked? She's still at an impressionable age. You want to make her start having ideas? <gasps> Teaching her small, small things. And Odrak could not enter my room without knocking. Anyway, I just came to ask you to help me fix the board in my room. Odrak would have done it, but I sent her to the market. And no problem. I'll be right over after dressing up. It's all right. straightforward woman and I like getting straight to the point. I've been observing you since I came here. And both of us are adults cooped up in this place. See, I am a woman with feelings that need to be satisfied. Your brother cannot do that because he's my sister's husband. But both of us can enjoy ourselves even now. Uh, Auntie, you mean you want me to sleep with you? Not just once or twice, but several times over. There are many things I can teach you. But, but Auntie, why do you want me to sleep with you? You are young, just as I am. You have a lot of energy. I've been observing you each time you finish taking your bath. And I know you can satisfy your woman. Okay. Until let me lock the door. Despicable sick woman who needs a lot of help. And I pray somebody realizes this very fast and take you to Socrates. And if you try this again, if you ever try it again, I will tell my brother and your sister, good mama Yongi. Good day. All right, little boy. We shall see. All the junks you people eat kills. This is the reason why I still remain this fresh. Elias and Obona love Eva with a passion. And that's why we always eat Eva in this house. Hey, I wanted to ask you about that boy. What exactly is he doing in this house? Who? Obona? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 
He's helping his brother out in the shop. And siphoning off money at the same time. Would you? You are a fool. I know his types. He's the type that will gradually warm his way into your heart. And before you and your husband know what is happening, he has taken over his business. And you'll be out there in the street. <coughs> Sister, Obuna is not like that. He's a very nice boy. Thank God I came. Obianuju, open your eyes. This is eight years you were married. And you think it's ordinary that you have only one child. Remember, they never wanted you in this family. Very soon, he will manifest his true colors. You think he's happy about your husband's success? <laughs> that was how my ex-husband's brother behaved before they jointly threw me out of the house. That will never happen. Don't do anything about it and you'll remember this day. <laughs> Nobenuju's house is better seen than described. What exactly did you see? The same thing that happened in my husband's house, which eventually led to my being thrown out, is happening again. What exactly happened? Mama, Eliezer, Obenuju's husband, went to the village and brought his younger brother, Obona, to manage one of the stores. <laughs> Presently, the boy has started siphoning out money from sales for his own upkeep. Presently, we are enemies. Because all his village trees cannot fool me, Stella. <laughs> it was a good thing you went to stay there. Oh. Yeah. But don't worry, my daughter. I know what to do. Oh? You better do it fast, too. <laughs> Before Abenuji comes back to stay in this house the way I'm staying. Yeah, my husband, I know what to do. It's all right. I'll do something about it. Oh? Do I help you for that? Uh -uh. I'll, I'll worry now. Don't worry. Oh? Okay, I'm all right, John. Sir. Udwa, what do you think you're doing? Sir, Auntie Stella said make I throw up. Auntie Stella said you should pour away a full pot of rice? Yes, sir. Why? She said the food not good again to chop. When was it cooked? Now yesterday we cook us. Is it spoiled? You never spoiled. And she asked you to pour it away. Yes, sir. This is how you people waste food in this house, eh? Why are you shouting? Go to the kitchen and see the full pot of rice that Udwa just threw away. I asked her and she said it was your sister who instructed her to do so. Is that why you're shouting? For a small pot of rice? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Do you people know how hard it is to make money around here? Or is it because your sister has now seen food here that she thinks she can waste it anyhow? I knew it would come to that. But let me inform you that my sister was not starving before she came into this house. If you want her to go, please ask her to go. But be rest assured that if she goes, your brother would leave. Oh, 
Ogonna. What are you still doing in bed? Is it not morning yet? Look at the time, 8 o'clock, and you're still sleeping. I'm not feeling well. And you don't know what to do? What are all the medicines in the shop there for? Eh? Your brother left the house 20 minutes ago, and you're still sleeping. This is how you want to make money for this family. If this laziness continues, I will tell your brother. We did not bring you all the way from the village to Lagos to come and eat our food and sleep in a comfortable bed. If you do not want to walk, Obonma, please go back to the village. taken something yes so why didn't you stay at home they chased me away from the house chased you yes what kind of nonsense is that they said you didn't bring me from the village to come here and lie down and eat only that I should come to the shop Would you said that? Didn't you tell her you were sick? Dee, it doesn't matter. She, she, she was speaking the truth. After all, you didn't bring me to come and lie down and eat only. You brought me to come and walk. Look, you're no use to me or to anybody else dead. Go home and rest and Gozi can take care of things. It, it doesn't matter. It's already four o'clock. I can handle the closing time. Now your uncle is very hungry. Yes, 
Oduak. Ma. Did you wash your uncle's clothes? No, ma. I don't wash any clothes today. So who owns all those clothes? Now Uncle Obona get them. Uncle. Now Uncle Obona own. Brand new clothes. Ellie, Ellie, go out there and see the new clothes that Obona has just bought. They are all hanging at the back of the house. Brand new clothes. And none of them will cost less than 1,000 Naira. So because Obona has bought himself a few new clothes, he has now stolen all the money in the company or what? Have you forgotten that we're paying him a salary? Hmm. That's the first time I'm hearing a thing like this. That a boy is learning a trade and he's being paid salary. Obuna is not learning a trade. I brought him here to help me run this business. He is also not a houseboy. He is my younger brother. And the sooner you begin to understand this, the easier it will be for all of us in this house. Mm. That is how you're taking it, Abi. I said it. I said it. Since your brother came to live in this house, your wife's opinion has counted for nothing. And to think of the fact that I am the one who suggested you should bring him to Lagos. Would you please, I do not have the strength to quarrel this evening. Please go and get me my food, I am hungry. around the whole house like an evil spirit and look where you're going, you would have seen me. I'm sorry, Auntie. I don't blame you. It's your brother I blame. Take care of my patients, or you want to bewitch me as you have bewitched the whole people in this house? And we told you respect. This thing has gone on long enough. One more insult from you, I'll tell my brother exactly everything that's been happening in this house, and I'll beat you black and blue. Beat me? I hope I've made myself clear. This family had no problems, but since you came into this house, everything has turned upside down. Just watch yourself. Watch it. Very fool. Sir. Yeah, uh, can I have some anti malaria drugs? Here is my prescription. Okay, sir. Yeah. It's a lie. Mama, I see. This is not true. Oh, go now, Madi. I'm a catch cooker. I'm a catch cooker. It's a lie. Ah, so good to see you. Where did you come in? Two weeks ago, two weeks ago. How's everybody? They're okay. Your brother, brother Eliezer. How's he doing? He's fine. As a matter of fact, this is one of his shop that manages. Oh, this is good. This is good. Emeka, after our school starts, you just disappeared like that. No communication. Even my letters, you didn't reply. Well, no, I'm sorry about that. But you see, God has been really good to me. Okay. Although it wasn't really easy when I first got into Europe. This was a little bit difficult. But God helping me, one mania job or the other. Today, I can assure you, I can't count my blessings. I thank God for you. I'm sorry about uh, not getting in touch, but I tell you, if you were in my shoes, you would have done the same. Oh, Emeka, the most important thing is that I am seeing you again with my eye. <laughs> eh? 
Mm. How long are you still going to be around? Mm. I'm almost through with the business transaction I came into the country with. So maybe in a fortnight time I should be leaving for Europe. How am I going to see you again now? You can check me out in my hotel room. Okay, please. Ngo, please, please, let me have pen and paper. Hey, uh, no, no. Uh, this is good. Uh, this is good. Uh, hey, Jesus Christ. Eh? Mm -hmm. Please. Ah, Jesus Christ. Come on, this. Oh, you're in room 10, eh? Very well. Boy. I'll surely look here. I'll be expecting you. Okay. If not for anything, let's dig up some old time issues, you know? Ah, <laughs> you can trust me. At least so that I'll be able to pick up some of the goodies you brought for you. That is in the activity, man. Can I assure you there are still some left? Okay, I'll come, I'll come. <laughs> the drugs, please. Yes. No, please, uh, let me have these drugs. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hey, Megan, don't worry. Don't, no, no, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Thank you very much. Anytime. I will be expecting you. Yes. Take care of yourself, eh? Thank you. Chai! And they got to go, God. Eh? My old time friend from school. Uh, yes. Yeah. It was very nice to meet you. Two of us. Yeah. Ah! And they got to go, God. Sister, the point is that he doesn't listen to me anymore. Every time I complain about his brother, he shrugs it off as if I just poured water on him. <laughs> I told you it was going to start happening. But don't worry. Your husband and his brother are small fries. I can handle them and soon we put them out of your mind. They will bend to whatever you want them to. And all that Eliezer has will remain here in this family. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, what soup do you want to prepare this afternoon? Um, I was thinking of making a nubu soup. What do you think? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Let me do it. I haven't really cooked in a long time now. At your service. <laughs> At least that will give me the opportunity to relax and put my feet up. Just relax. <laughs> okay. Everything is ready in the kitchen. All right. Don't tell me you're full already. If I eat any more, I won't be able to get up from this table. <laughs> Sister? Yes. If I had known your cooking was this good, you would have come to stay with us long before oh, now. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is good on oh. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I went through the books yesterday. You know what? <laughs> Since Obona started running that store, the sales and income have more than doubled. I don't know how that boy does it, but he sure has the, 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 the golden touch. Uju, I was talking to you. Oh, were you? Well, since we don't have anything better to talk about than Obona. I 
Is anything the matter with you? Why this sudden change of attitude towards Obonna? Ellie, please. For God's sake, we used to have so much to talk about. How come in recent times the only thing we have to discuss is Obonna? Well, if we have nothing better to talk about, I would rather we ride in silence. And what? you turn that thing off and let me hear. His name is Emeka Chikoka. Emeka Chikoka. Is he expecting you? Yes. Okay. Yes, wait. Oh, Marvel. Is Mr. Chikoka there? See him in the restaurant. Mmm, look what my man. You made it. Of course. Oh, see that, see that. I was already thinking you've abandoned me. So how are you doing? Waiter! Sir. Mmm. <laughs> this for him. Quickly. Yes, sir. Quickly, please. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'm sorry I would have been here earlier. We just have been very busy at home and in the shop. At home? Yes. Doing what? I'm putting up with my elder brother, Eliezer. And each time I step into the house, my brother, it's been one problem to the other. It's either I'm washing dishes or I'm washing clothes. Even upon that, my brother's wife and the sister will not let me be. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sort of a house help or something? I'm going by the present situation. That's a compliment. It was smooth and nice when I first came from the village. But immediately my brother's sister-in-law stepped her foot into that house. Things turned upside down for me when I refused to sleep with her. It's been very rough since then. They have even succeeded in cornering my brother to their side. I sense rougher days for me in that house. This is serious. So what are your parents doing about it or you left them out of it? Emeka, you have really lost touch. Some years after my brother married Uju, my mother died. My father followed thereafter. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. May they soul rest in peace. Amen. Oh, your food. Do you have a saving? Hmm? Do you have savings? Mm, yeah, yes. How much? Six thousand. <laughs> uh, you see, I'll be going back to Europe in three days' time. Try and uh, obtain an international passport for yourself. I will arrange with a friend of mine who runs a traveling agency. He will procure a visa for you. As soon as I get back to Europe, we will send you a return ticket. That will be the end of your miseries. Emeka, you can't be serious. You see, Obuna, one good turn deserves another. Remember, you paid my school certificate exams fee, and such favors cannot be brushed aside. I can't wait to share this good news with my brother. 
Let this be a secret. In the meantime, keep this to yourself until you are ready to join me in Sweden. Okay. <laughs> Eat your food, bro. Thank you. Mother finds us like this, she'll skin us alive. Don't have the right to hold my wife again. Uh -uh. You've not paid the bright price. Yes. I know, but I will soon pay. Someday, <laughs> very soon. Eh? Mother, uh. this, mother, this, you'll be harassing You think it's easy? <laughs> if I bring you into the house now and I give you guys to be drinking, won't you start complaining? <laughs> you will complain still. Ado, there's something I've come to share with you. What? I'll be traveling very soon. Traveling to where? I'm going to Europe to study and be working alongside too so that I could send things over for you. Adel, did you hear me? No, 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 don't do this again, please. Not again. You're going to leave me here. But I won't be gone forever. I will always be in touch with you. Okay? I'll send you letters. Like I said, I'll be working and I'll send things over to you. All right? But promise me one thing. You won't tell anybody about this until I am gone. Promise? I promise. Good. That's my baby. from Obona. He says I should greet all of you. Uju, you don't want to read the letter. Read which letter? Eh? Letter from that your ungrateful brother who traveled abroad without our consent. And when he called her, he could say, well, I'm sorry. He even knows how he got the money to travel. Let me get your food, or would you rather I read the letter while you die of hunger? This attitude you put up whenever Obuna is mentioned, it's not good. Or... Ah, see, Mew, what have I done now? Eh? You have read the letter. Will my reading it change the content? Okay, he greets us, Abby. We greet him too. Please be nice to answer. Oh, it's part of the money Obona sent. Obona sent money? You didn't tell me. I gave you the letter to read and you refused to read it. How much did he send? When I changed it, it all amounted to about 200,000 naira. <laughs> Hey, this is good. At least now I can buy my freezer. No, you can't. This is the first time Obona is sending any money home. He says I should put 100,000 naira into the business and save the rest for him and then give something to his fiancée, Adobe. I knew it would come to this. 
When I told you that boy was selfish, you thought my mouth was smelly. He claims that a friend of his sent him to Europe. If you had not brought him to Lagos, would he have met that friend? Eh? Would he? Instead of thinking of how to show appreciation for what we have done for him, he's thinking of saving money for himself. Eh? And that fiancé of his, that has never been to this house before, she was even included... If I see you saving one cover of this money, hmm, this house will not contain the two of us. When he was leaving for overseas, we thought it was a bad thing that happened. Can't you see he now sends money home? To who? Sister, to who? My name was not even mentioned in the disbursement of that money. And does it bother you? Your husband's money is your money. Or is Obona coming back to ask how the money was disbursed? Not really. So take what you want. Eliezer will not say anything. Look, I have told you. As far as I'm in this house, he is completely in your hands. That is why I am your elder sister. And I am here to make sure that you are not cheated out in any way. So, if you want to buy a deep freezer, go ahead and buy it. Nothing will happen. Hey, look, nowadays, people don't take chances in relationship. So, get the most out of your marriage. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> to help us carry this fridge, eh? Because we don't um, have milk in the house right now. Okay? No problem. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow him. Calaba witch. Uh, what are you... Don't hold it there. What is it? If you people spoil this freezer, you will pay for it. Oh. You think 50,000 is 50 cobble? So you went ahead and bought that freezer? I never said I wasn't going to buy it. You used the money Obona sent? <sighs> Eliezer, if you have decided to be a fool, I refuse to be one. The money Obona sent is our money, yours and mine. We have labored so many years for this money. After all, how are you sure it wasn't our money he stole to travel abroad? Stole? Used. Oh, yeah, 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 bring the fridge inside. The fridge inside. Uh, hold it from there now. Uncle's shoes and briefcase into his room. Okay. Has my boy eaten? Yes, sir. Honey, I still don't see why you work so hard. I mean, what is the whole point? If I do not work so hard, what will you people eat? Is it by killing yourself that you shall provide what we'll eat? Obuna is not here anymore. It's like everything is falling apart all around me. The pressure of running the two shops is killing me. If I don't get somebody else very soon... And I... yes, uh, what you need is not somebody else. What you need is to reorganize yourself. 
get yourself a better car so that you won't be sharing this one with your family. Move into a better neighborhood where you will need to drive through all the traffic. In fact, get yourself a driver. You need to move up in the world. Huh? Sister, moving up costs money, which we don't have. We have. You think I don't know Bona has been sending money? Or is it because I decided not to talk about it? How much has he sent lately? Um, 3.2. 3 million, 200,000 Naira. And you have not said a word about it. We are rich! Rich? That money is not yours or mine. I have told you before that Obona said I should save it for his house. Which house? Obona wants to build a house when you, his elder brother, have not built yours. Obona is not coming back today or tomorrow. Neither is the house being built right away. So if you need money to make a better life for yourself, take what is there. Besides, how will Obona know how much has been taken out? Won't he send my money? Sister, you may be right, but I don't think it's a very wise decision. What has wisdom got to do with this? Eh? Obona is comfortable wherever he is. He doesn't expect us to live like paupers, does he? It's a beautiful place, but at the price you're calling, it's completely out of my reach. <laughs> it is not. Uh, why, why are you talking like that? Every price is negotiated. I believe by the time we see the landlord, we won't get out. Okay, if he can come down a little, I would like to pay immediately because uh, we're already tired of the present neighborhood where we're staying. I assure you, this is the best neighborhood anybody can stay. No thief. No noise. You can see it. No referee. In fact, no nepa problem. I see. Okay, when can we see the landlord? Uh, why don't you make it this evening? Okay then. We'll make it this evening. Hmm? As yeah. soon as we see him, then we can. Oh, yeah. Money, 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 money
This is the right card that defeats a man of your stature. I can assure you, I use one. Oh, you do? Yes, and it was only when I bought it that my friends started respecting me. <laughs> okay, but uh, I'm looking for something more compact, if you know what I mean. Perfectly. Then that's the car for you. This one? Yes. Mercedes 300 V-Boot. Power steering, automatic floor gear, ABS. Everything is inside in this car. <laughs> There is no better car made on planet Earth than this. <laughs> and I can assure you, I use one. <laughs> you car dealers are all the same. You use this one, you use this one. So... Of course! <laughs> we do that for market purposes. And this one is very cheap. Only 600,000 Naira. How much? Just 600,000 Naira. Honey, what do you think? Not a bad car. You like it? Yes, I do. Yes, fine. <laughs> okay, we'll take this. Good. You are there. <laughs> okay, let's go into the office and uh, make some payments. That's a deal. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who has swallowed a millipede. Uh-huh. Can't you see what the letter says? That a wonder is coming home. I don't see why that should make anybody sad. He called just this afternoon and said I should come and pick him up at the airport tomorrow night. I still don't see why that should make you sad. Obuna is coming in and I am sure he has things to do. There is no cobble left in the account I'm supposed to have been running for him. Oh, so that's why you're losing sleep. Obuna is coming home and there is no money in the account. So what? At least he's going to see what you did with the money, eh? What did I do with the money? Buy cars, move into a new house, is that it? That's what I used 4 million naira to do? What about this place? I mean, it costs a whole lot of money to set up a place like this. Obona did not send money to set up a place like this. He sent money so that I can save up for him. So that when he returns, he can have something to start building his house and start a business of his own. That is the problem. You feed him, you train him, and now that he's in Europe, all he thinks about is how to set up a business for himself. Listen, if you can't take care of your brother, then let me handle him. Ujo, I don't like this at all. I don't like it. Even the money he sent last week for his running around when he returns, we have spent it. Ellie, please! What is wrong with you? When will you stop feeling sorry for spending what rightfully belongs to you? Please, I'm off to the salon.
Yes. How are you? So you can see for yourself. Um, this is the new house. We bought it just last May and uh, instead of leaving it empty, I thought we should occupy it until you come. Good. It's a big place. Mm -hmm. Business must be doing very well then. Well, God has been faithful. Amen. Um, they, where's everybody? I'm dying to see Aunt Stella. Uh, they must be inside. Uh -huh. Look at it, Kenna! Ah, Yes! <laughs> Look at it, Dread! Jack, look at you. Welcome. You're looking so good. Thank you. Please get the things on the boat, okay? Ah! <laughs> you came away. Au revoir. Auntie Uju. You're yeah, welcome. Good to see you, Auntie. Good to see you, too. You're welcome. Auntie Stella. You're welcome. Good afternoon. How was your flight? It's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> you came the board. Did you miss me? You came in. Yes. <laughs> um, Dave, I have rested enough. What I'd like to do tomorrow is to pick up some money, then get a car, get to the village and see some of our old folks. And also see Adobe's parents so that uh, we could uh, finalize on the marriage issue. Why don't you take your time? What's the rush? Oh, well, I don't have much time to spend. Um, lectures are uh, resuming in about a month's time. And you and I know too that uh, the more I stay out of work, the more I lose. So I would like to get uh, the money that I sent to you last week so that I could. Uh, buy the car and uh, buy some fit things. Why do you need to buy a car? We have two cars in the house. Mm -hmm. You can pick any of them and uh, put that money to better use. I know. You know, but the truth about it is that that's what the money was saved for anyway. Moreover, if I buy the car today, I will need to buy another one when I come into the country, tomorrow or next, or whenever I come again. Also, I'd like to get to the market so that I could uh, pick up some few things for the people in the village and especially for Adobe and her parents. So, how much do you need? Um, aside that of the car, I think I'll uh, need uh, I'll need another 300,000 naira. Do we still have that kind of money? Um, Obo? Auntie. I don't think that kind of money is available right now. I don't understand. They have about the one that I gave to you when I came in yesterday. Um, it's there. That one is there. So what money are we talking about? What, I, what I'm trying to say is this. I think it's, um... It's unwise for you to start spending money recklessly. So you will use one of the cars in the house here. Um, whatever money you need to buy things for people in the village, I'll give it to you. Uh, but I just happen to think that um, you should save up most of the money you, you came with. You have a whole life ahead of you. You have a woman that you're bringing in, and besides, most of the money you sent, we invested. I don't understand. Um, Obo, you have been away from town for too long, so you won't understand. You see, people no longer put their money in the banks, you know, because of the way the banks close up here and there. Um, you invest your money rather than put it in the bank. Are you saying you invested all I sent? All the money I sent? Yes. If I may ask, in what? How? Um, well, 
the pharmacy. Uh, the, the, the pharmacy. We 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 expanded the pharmacy. Yes. The pharmacy. The house. You know this house. Um, you know. Yes, but before you start getting angry, let me show you what we're doing. Let's go. Go to where? It's better for you to see things yourself. I don't like the way things are sounding. Oh, whoa. Why don't you just go with him? Huh? Go with him. Okay. Just hang on, I'll pick up my shoes. Asking after all the money he sent. And you told him you invested much for the money. You told him that. So what are you worrying about? Huh? Look, he doesn't have that kind of time to start investigating anything. If he needs money to do anything, give him from the one he came with. He will think it is part of the one he sent before now. Sister. Listen to me. Your husband and his people are under us. There is nothing they can do. <laughs> so what else is bothering you? Eh? Are you the one spending the money? Mm -mm. Did you receive any money from Obonna? No! Eliezer is simply spending his brother's money the way he did fit. Simple. So, don't bother yourself. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, what would I do without you? It's a chill. I'm here. <laughs> This is the new pharmacy. I had to close down the one you were running before and then open this one. It's part of the investments and development we've been making. But hey, you never mentioned this to me. It just keeps my mind. But let's go inside. It's a, it's a very big place. Come and see. Yeah, you're welcome. Good evening, sir. Good evening, cousin. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. You see, see how big it is? We have a lot of things here which we didn't have in the former place. What do you think? Well, let's, let's go and see the house. The house is even bigger. Is it? It's even more impressive. Let's go. Come on. They are not interested in any house. I'm not interested. How could you have used the money I sent to you to build a house for yourself, buy cars, and even develop your pharmaceutical shop? Obona, you are getting it all wrong. Calm down. No, I'm not coming down there. I'm not getting anything wrong. I said you're getting it all wrong. I didn't buy any cars for myself. The cars I bought were for you. The house I built was for you. This pharmacy that I opened up is because you and I have to grow. So there's no need for you to get angry here. Okay, I'd like to go to the village tomorrow. Can I get the money I asked for? Of course. Let's go to the house first. Good to see you. I missed 
you. Me too, I missed you so much. Good to see you. How about Mama? She's fine. She went to the market. Really? You sounded surprised as if you didn't know I was coming. I am surprised. I wasn't expecting you. What do you mean you weren't expecting me? Didn't you get my letters to you through my brother? Letters? No. The last time I saw your brother was December last year. December last year? I don't understand. How about the money I've been sending to you through him? What money? I've never received a dime from your brother. Okay. Come, don't worry. I'm here now, okay? Yeah. I'll make it up for you, alright? Yeah. Good to see you. Me too. So long a time. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I thought you had completely forgotten us. Um, I was saying I was never going to see you again. But your brother wrote and told us that you had gone to Bodoibo. Yes, they, I, I didn't plan it that way. It just happened and I had to leave. But I knew I was going to be back sooner than later. Mm, uh, all glory to God that I have seen you again. I thank God too. Um, how is everybody at home? Uh, well, no much problem except the usual hunger. It's okay. Dave. Yes. I was in our father's compound the other day. What I saw there made me weep. The place has been overtaken by weeds. Some parts of the world have started falling in. Yes. Because your brother no longer visits us. And there's nobody to take care of the compound. Deodorfia. I didn't want to say this before, but I have to. I've been sending money to Day Eliza to take care of our father's compound. And to do some other things. I even sent him money to keep for me so that when I come back, I'll start building my own house. The Eliezer has used all the money I sent to him, all of it, for what I do not know. So I plead to you people to please summon him, to explain to you what happened to all the money I sent to him before the hand of a monkey in a pot of soup becomes that of a man. Please. Eliezer spent your money. All of it. How much money was involved? There's so much money. Over four million. Even the one I sent to him to give to you people in the village, he never did. Over four million naira? Yes. You are telling me stories. The all I tell you here today is the truth, the whole truth. If only he knew how I suffered to make that money, where am I going to start from again? Where? Um, <clears throat> your brother Fogon asked us to find out from you what has happened to all the money he sent you that you have not given him any satisfactory explanation. The Kodofia, I do not know what other satisfactory explanation my brother wants me to give him. I have told him everything that happened. But if he won't accept it, then maybe I should tie a rope around my neck and hang myself. No, no, no. Because no. he gave me money it to keep for me. No, God forbid. No. No. Okay. Are you the first one that has ever given someone money to keep for you? You can all hear him. You can all hear my brother. You can hear what he's saying. A man I give money to keep for me. Is it fair? Eliezer, you should do it very gently. It is your brother's money that has been lost here. They, I know. But this thing is about business. And in business, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Okay. I invested his money, but unfortunately I lost it. Do I have to kill myself for him? D, I've been thinking since I came back. I've come to a conclusion that my brother does not have conscience. Because if he does, he wouldn't have been deceiving me from the day one to date. He made me believe he has been saving the money I sent to him for me. But in return, he was servicing his family with it. This boy is ungrateful. All the while, I thought I was dealing with a reasonable human being. 
You were rotting in this village when I came here, picked you up and made you somebody. Now you can sit here and tell me that I'm stealing from you? Today I did not call you a thief. No. The problem here is that my brother has been lying to me from day one and he still continues to lie. You did not send me abroad. I struggled on my own. Yes, you took me to Lagos. The money you spent while I was in your house in Lagos, I have sent you over five times the same amount. I sent him money to keep for me. No account was given for it. He swindled all. Now I am penniless. Where do I go from here? What do I do? Do you know how difficult it has been for me to suffer out there? Have you ever been there before? Do you know how it is? Okay, okay. Two of you have spoken. Sit down, sit down. 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 Now, if water spills, who can collect it again? Nobody. Nobody. Obona, my son, yeah. whatever it is that your brother has done with the money you sent, the fact remains that he has spent the money. Yeah. Even if you tie a rope around his leg and drag him around the Igbelu for the next 10 days, you won't see the money again. Oh. So forget the past. Okay, Lee, I've heard all you said. But I want you to know that I had plans before I came here. There's a girl that had been seen before I traveled abroad. I'd written to her that I was coming back to conclude the arrangement as per our marriage. They knows about it. So what do I do now that I don't have money? What do I do? You want to get married, Ekwa? That's true. Uh, not the best things I have had all day. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Something can be done about it. I still have some money left to take care of all that. I want it. I What brings you here again? I came to thank you for the charm you prepared for me the other time. It worked very, very well. <laughs> eh? And it is still very much effective. <laughs> I told you, the goals I serve can never fail me. Mm. Now tell me your troubles. Mm. And be rest assured that the mountain of your troubles will be leveled before you are very ass, oh. even now, oh. and you are now. Oh, my. It is my daughter and her brother-in-law. What about him? I want you to make him a stooge. A stooge. Eh? He just came back from abroad, and he will soon be going back. I want, when he gets back there, I want him to send money and more money to my <laughs> daughter and her husband. No. Money, <laughs> money, and more money. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all? Finish. What about the years and future? We'll discuss that later on. <clears throat> Consider it done. He doesn't eat at home. Hmm? So prepare the charm to be different from the former one. Mm. He doesn't eat at home. <laughs> he doesn't eat at home. Where does he eat? Tell me. Where does he eat? Take this charm, put it in his room before he travels to overseas. Hmm? But 
let me warn you. It is only you and your daughter will know about this charm. Nobody will see it or know about it. Else, this charm becomes ineffective. <coughs> Please give this to the gods. Put it there. Okay. Please thank them for me. No? Tell them that we will be back. Okay? Mm. We will be back when the charm you gave us becomes effective. Oh? Uh, more money. More money and more money. More money. Okay, money and money. Money and money. Uh... I don't know how you take this, but um, I think it will be wise if you leave Adobe behind. Obo, it's unfortunate the way the money issue went. Um, but you said it to yourself that things are not easy over there. That money is tight. So I, I wonder how you're both going to manage out there. We'll manage. After all, I left her for two years. And no letter, no message that I sent got across to her. Obo, why are you reopening old wounds? They have got to be truthful. A wise man falls down the slope once. We might all have made mistakes, but we make mistakes in life so that we can learn from them. I think Uju is right in saying that Adobe should stay behind in the meanwhile. Then when you finally settle down and things stabilize, you can send for her. Besides, by the time you finish processing her papers, your lectures would have resumed. Ado, what do you think? I want to go with you. I'll think about it. By tomorrow, we'll come out with a better option. Uh, yes, uh, it will be nice if you sleep over it. They are really very tired. Need to cast some rest. Gotta be with my wife for a while too. I understand. Excuse us. Excuse us. You see, isn't the trouble over? I told you Obuna wasn't going to kill anybody. Look at what we've got for ourselves. A new house, brand new cars, the best of everything. And yet, he's going back to work for more. Ah. Oh. Eliza is right. If both of us go together, things are going to be rough. Very rough. So I think it's better if I go alone first. I know that in less than a year, I'll have enough money for you to come over. I don't want to stay behind the one now. If I stay, won't what happen the last time it repeats itself? No, it won't. It's just that I don't have enough money to open an account for you. But don't worry. The first money I'm going to send to you through the Eliza. Use it to open an account so I could send money to you directly. It's not the money. It's, it's not the money. I just want to be with you. The past two years without you has been hell. I know. Come, my dear. Come. It's been the same with me, too. Especially when my letters to you were never replied. I thought you had decided not to have anything to do with me again. If I knew they were never delivered. But don't worry, okay? I'm going to send everything to you directly now, alright? Okay? Ah, 
are you? Good, 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 good. Mm. How are you? Mm. Mm. How was your day? This Lagos traffic is maddening. Whenever you're sitting in the car or just driving, you feel like someone who has been to hell will come back. <laughs> I don't know what it was that took me to Alagbado today. Mm. I should have just quietly stayed in the office. I'm sure he must be very hungry. I'm Let sure. me get him something to eat. Okay. Thank you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I uh, I got a message from your husband today. He said I should greet you and tell you that he arrived safely. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Okay, let me drop your briefcase. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ellie, was that all he said? That he arrived safely? What else do you expect him to say? Didn't he send any money? Uchu. The guy just left now. Let him settle down first before he starts working for money. Ellie, there is so much to be done with money in this house. More so with the extra burden he left us with, his wife. If you had not been foolish enough to clean out your account to borrow him money to go and marry a wife, I hope you told him he's going to pay back that money. I told you your brother was only ranting when he came. So he actually saved up all this month. You know what surprised me was that he did not even think about this family. He just instructed that I should give these dollars to his wife so that she can go and open an account. You would do no such thing. If there's going to be the opening of any account, it will be done by you and you will run it for her. If she begins to handle money now, her head will begin to swell. Well, you help me put this in the account tomorrow. Okay. By the way, I, um, I noticed she's been throwing up all over the place. She complained of a fever lately. I think she's pregnant. Then you should take her to the hospital so that she can do some tests. Take her to the hospital? Where's the money? Oh, this one will hardly take care of her family needs. She has to manage. At least if she's pregnant, we would know with time. It doesn't hide. Well, whatever you say. And remember, we have to start saving up. The car you left for us is no longer in good shape after your brother used it. We have to get another one. Okay, I have heard you. Mm. Good morning. I was actually going to ask Kudrak to come and wake you up. That you're pregnant is not enough reason for you to stay in bed the whole day. We have so much to do in this house. Missy, I'm sorry. You better be. I'm not feeling too well. All I'm saying is that if you want to eat, then you should be ready to work. I'm sorry. I was wondering if I could get some money from you. I need to buy my toiletries. <laughs> my dear, you have to wait. Because there is no money in this house right now. The other day, my husband was complaining of how difficult things were. And that sales in the pharmacy has dropped. 
I was even advising him to expand the pharmacy so more people will come and buy. But all these things cost money, and that money we don't have right now. So you have to wait. I said I should put it in the bank. What do we do with it? Thank God we are now thinking. We are not putting any money into any bank. It's time you started putting money together for yourself. You are going to open your own account and we put this money into it. Um, but sister, what if Eliezer finds out? Even if he finds out, he will not do anything. Don't bother yourself. I've told you we are in control of this situation. Look, just get ready. We'll go to the bank. Okay. Obona, I would have given you some romantic moments to remember, but you rejected it. You will be seriously for that insolence. My love has gone away And I am all alone Alone in this whole wild world With no one to love and care for me My heart is beating fast My life is so empty I need to give my love Was that a boss I just saw you coming down from? Yes, sir. Why? Are there no more taxis running in this town that you have to take a commercial bus? You're pregnant, you know. I didn't have any money for a taxi. Why didn't you say so when I was leaving the house? Or you want your husband to come back now and say no one is taking good care of you? Uncle, that is why I have come to see you. Okay, come inside. It is Obona. Since the last time he called you and said he had arrived safely, I've not heard anything since then. And it's four months now. I don't think he knows I'm pregnant. I don't have any money to take care of my basic needs and I'm tired of asking auntie for money all the time. My dear, honestly, I don't know, I don't know. You know, sometimes these boys, when they travel overseas, they start behaving strangely. But I'm sure your husband will write as soon as he sorts things out. Uncle, don't you have any address or phone number where I can reach him? He has not secured a new line yet. You know, he had to move house because he couldn't finish paying the mortgage on his old house. So it's the old address that I have. But don't worry. Things so. will be all right. Here. Buy the things you need. Business is a bit tight now. Even the house that I've been developing, I had to stop until things improve. I'll see you at home, okay? Thank you very much, Uncle.
one of my friend is coming home and I will send him across to you. Please help me give him the account number that Adobe opened so that I can send money to her directly. How is she progressing with the pregnancy? Please use the money I have sent and get her a good car. I wouldn't want her to be using public transport now that she is pregnant. Also give her this new address and phone number so that she can at least call me. I would love to speak to her. says one of his friends is coming in next week. Take Adobe to the market and buy her some good clothes. We do not want anybody going back to report to him that she's not being well taken care of. So what is wrong with the ones she has? Are they not good enough? We should do the right thing now. We can afford to get her some good clothes. He also sent some money to get her a car. A car? What for? She's pregnant. She needs to move around. Eh. So I am the one that does not need to move around. Eh? I am the one that doesn't need a new car. Listen, you're going to get us a new car and give her my old one. Simple. see what I can do. There's also some additional money he sent to clear the land where he intends to build his house. But but we can we can use that to complete the roofing of our own house and whatever money he sends next we'll use it to clear the land for him. Good idea. Oh you're talking. All right, let's go to bed. It's rather late. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. This is my wife, uh, Uju. Yeah. And this is her sister, Stella. Oh, good evening, madam. Good evening. You're welcome. How is Sweden? Ah, oh, Sweden is fine. It must be very cold there by this time of the year. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> and this is Adobe, Bona's wife. Mm -hmm. Adobe, this is America, your husband's friend. Bona keeps talking about you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. How is he? Ah, God is good. Uh, he's doing tremendously well, I must confess. Mm. Uh, you said I should uh, give you this. Oh, really? This one. <laughs> and uh, this is for you. Ah, let's see what is inside it. <laughs> uh, how does he expect you to wear this? Or doesn't he know you're pregnant? I see. Uh, madam. This is for you and the Ikena. Ah, hey, please help me, thank you. Hey. Hmm. I should be on my way now. 
I came straight to deliver these things. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow to take replies to his letters. Uh, won't you at least stay and eat something? No thanks, madam. I had to see my people. I came straight from the hotel. Okay, okay we'll see you tomorrow then. Huh? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Uh, I don't know. I'll see you. <laughs> Baby, let's see what's in your bag. Thank God I have this opportunity of talking to you alone. Obu said I should ask how you're doing. Terrible. Things are very rough here. They refused to give me his address or phone number. You mean you've not received any of the letters he sent you? No. And money too? No. He taught us much. I said I should give you this. There's a thousand dollars in there. Don't tell anybody about it. Have you registered for your antenatal class? No. Why? I asked Uncle Eliza for money, but he said there was no money. It's all right. You have money now. Please make sure you register. Um, please give this to him. Okay. Tell him that he should come back quickly. That things are really bad here. Everything is explained in the letter. It's all right. Don't worry yourself. Everything's going to be all right. Okay? Thank you very I'll much. I'll see you tomorrow. Is this the car? Mm -hmm. Is this the car? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sister Stella! Sister Stella! What is it? Come and see. Ah. Just come and see. Isn't this beautiful? Ah. Isn't this beautiful? This is what I've always wanted. <laughs> I'm going with you. I'm sure. <laughs> Said you wanted to see him. Ujuma. Sister. Does your husband know that Obona is around? Obona is around. 
Yes, yeah, sister. What kind of story is this now? Take this. Read it. I picked it from Adobe's room. Adobe is not in her room. The little devil has gone to see Obona. He's been around for the past one week. Jesus Christ, sister. Sister, what do you want to do? Hey! Now listen to me. Okay. I have always told you there's a time to get out. That time is now. So take the most you can and leave. If he's been around for this long and they don't come to this house, that means something is terribly wrong. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes, come in. And go to your back. Yes, sir. The statement of account requested for. Okay. What is this? What, sir? You call this a statement? I don't understand, sir. There is no money here, only the deposit. So the cashier said, she told me that Madame came in yesterday to withdraw all the money. I thought that was why you asked for the statement. Uh, Madame came yesterday to withdraw all the money? Why? you'll be surprised to see me. I came in two days ago. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. <laughs> um, is my wife in? I don't think so. I... I saw this in my bedroom. My bedroom? I think you should read this before you ask any follow-up questions. I don't understand. Well, it simply explains that your dearly beloved wife with her lovely sister says thank you for being such a lovely, foolish husband. Yes. They have taken off with all your money, which unfortunately you stole from me. I guess they must have seen the letter I sent to Adobe telling her that I'll be coming back. So they decided to grab all they can. If it's any consolation to you, I've ordered for your arrest. Yes. Until you explain to me what has happened to the whole money I sent down to you. This house is seized. The pharmaceutical shop will be under lock and key. And will remain so until we sort out our whole differences. Well, you've heard your father, my son. That family is not a good one. Nobody puts his hand into the fire with his eyes wide open. 
That is exactly where you are heading to, into the fire. But day, let me ask something. What is bad about a Jews family? Why do we just sit here and condemn people we know nothing about? Eliezer, we know something about them. In fact, we know a lot about them. When you came home here to say that was the girl you wanted to marry, like good parents, we ask questions. They have a history of desertion in that family. Number one, their mother deserted their father before he died. Two, the elder sister is no longer living with her husband. Three, the younger one is never seen at home. You are thinking of going to marry in a house of prostitutes. Mama, you are referring to the family of the girl I want to marry. Look at what you are calling them. <laughs> girl you want to marry. Have we given you the permission to? I do not need anybody's permission to marry anybody. Day, you don't talk like that now, eh? Sure. Our parents are right on advising us on who we should marry. Good. But Mama, it's not fair for you to talk about somebody you hardly know like that. Huh. It's not fair. I don't care. I don't want to know about anybody. Look, the bottom and the fat that come out of it are the same and one thing. The smell of the family stays the heavens. Papa, did you hear that? Do you hear what Mama is saying? We shall see. De, Papa, I have seen Uchu. I have stayed with her. I think she is a perfect wife for Eliezer. It doesn't matter what her family may look like. Sometimes, good things might come out of a terrible situation. Obona. Papa. All we are trying to prevent is your brother getting to grief. Any mistake in marriage will make a man live in disaster. And such mistakes are normally made at this stage. Papa, I know. I know, but I don't see Eliezer making any mistake. Brother, I see you making a good wife for him. Eh? Please let him marry whoever he chooses to marry. <laughs> this dance with disaster. I will see where it's going to end in. For me, I've said my mind. Uh, Mama, where are you? Mama, come now. <laughs> Excuse me, Papa. If they have decided to marry, if they, they marry, uh, they will be, they will be, they will be the consequences in future. I know the family of my heart. Hello? Yes. Is that the inspector of police? Oh, thank you very much. Please, uh, you can send in your men now. The suspect is here. Okay, then. Yes, Who is there? Eleazar! You are a criminal, my friend. So you want to continue living in this house without paying anything for it? Anyway, the court has served you a quick notice. Quick notice? Baby, baby, I thought you said you bought this house. Uju has finished me. She gave me the impression all this while that she had been paying the rent. A house that you've not paid for past one year. Adam, please help me hold this. Uh, agent, um, sir, I don't know what to call you. Please, let, let's, let's talk outside. Just wink and I'll have a bite. Yeah, chop, yeah, 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 yeah,
Chop money, you the chop money. 